Okay, we are very pleased to announce that uh, Jack Barham is joining the Stones for the 21-22 season. Uh, Jack, welcome to Mason United. How did the move come about? So yeah, I know um, Hack's known me now for a, for a few years. Um, when I got my move to Barnet from Greenwich, he, uh, he came and scouted me a few times because he worked with Stilly. Um, so yeah, we, it's, it's been kind of a, a move that in the past, I'd say two years, it's it's nearly been there, but it's not. And I've obviously gone to other clubs and stuff, but now I'm uh, I'm here and I'm reunited obviously with Hack, and uh, delighted to kind of get the move done. Do you? I guess you having been in the, the National League circuit for a couple of seasons, you know all about the club. Looking forward to playing in front of the fans and and get you know getting a good season under your belt. Hopefully uninterrupted this time. Yeah, um, it's a massive club I think for this level, uh, especially with the fan base they've got here and. Um, Every time I've, I've played here uh, against Maidstone, uh, the fans have been uh, brilliant, uh, even home and away. So that's one of the one of the biggest factors, really. I'm looking forward to, and also, um, yeah, where the, where the club is at the moment, I definitely think it should be in the league above with everything it's got going for it. So yeah, I'm really excited. Obviously, we've uh, been dropping a few names of of late, some familiar faces for you coming in to see. Yeah, um, I know a few of the boys here, um, which always helps. I think when you're when you're settling in, obviously if you don't really know anyone, it can it can take a few weeks. But knowing a few of the boys, um, it's definitely made me feel more welcome. Um, you mentioned um, Barnet was one of the former clubs. Where did the uh, career start off for you? So for me, I started off um, when I was uh, sort of 17, 18. I was at Chelmsford City in the uh, academy there, so um, that was good for my development really. And then. I got my first sort of senior football um, under Jody Brown at Haybridge. Um, then I went on to Tilbury and Farrock in sort of the same league. Won the playoffs with Farrock. Then I decided to come over to the to the south, um, which was uh, Ryman Ryman South at the time. And uh, I joined Phoenix. Was there for a few games. Then um, went to Greenwich under Gary, Gary Alexander. And then that's when my goals goal record really went up from there. I was, I was thirty seven. Uh, for Greenwich and then got my move to Barnet so um, yeah then when I was at Barnet obviously I was under Stilly so that's obviously how I know uh, Hacks obviously when they work together and there's a relationship there um, then went on on loan to Bromley uh, Welling and then obviously went to Daw uh, Dawkins and Dartford so just need now to kind of settle down and make sure that I can sort of st stick at a club, get my goals and hopefully get the club to the next level where it's, where it's supposed to be. Well, very much agree with that one. Um, obviously, still young of a young age. Um, any highlights? If you had to pick maybe one or two career highlights so far, what would they be? I'd say um, one of my sort of biggest highlights was winning the Golden Boot uh, when I was in the Ryman, Ryman South with Greenwich. Uh, sort of went up to Wembley, got the award and stuff. So. That was that was really good for me, and um, I'd say my first sort of professional goal for Barnet um, when I scored against Dagnum, it was kind of that. It was a it was a first goal for me, really, at a, what I call as a senior, a proper senior level, um, and in front of quite a lot of fans as well. So that was definitely a standout moment for me. Well, here's the plenty of goals and plenty of celebrations with the fans during the season. Jack, welcome and have a great time with us. Thank, Thank you. you.